Okay, so who think he's or she's already contributing to PostgreSQL? Yeah, quite a few. And who would like to contribute to PostgreSQL? Yeah. So first, I'm sorry to tell you that you're wrong. You're already contributing to PostgreSQL. Everyone in this room is already contributing to PostgreSQL. And we will see how. First, uh, my name is Leticia Avro. Uh, I'm a PostgreSQL consistent and a trainer. I first began with PostgreSQL some more than 10 years ago. And after I began with PostgreSQL, my boss came and said, so you can handle Oracle and SQL Server 2. So I had to work with this to RDBMS. And later in my career, I had to work with DB2 uh, also. But uh, first, I don't think I have a real expertise on DB2. And second, I don't tell it uh, a lot because I don't want to do it again. Uh, I had a lot of fun with uh, some features as high availability, security, high loads, constraint, and so on. Uh, it's really, really fun when you, you can learn new things and uh, have uh, customers with uh, big constraints. That's fun. And you can follow me on Twitter. And that's it about me. I work for Luxodata. Luxodata is a company built on three pillars. The first one, of course, it's PostgreSQL because it's our field of expertise. The second one is DevOps uh, because uh, we need uh, information to flow freely across the dev world and the ops world. So we're trying to help in that way. And of course, we, we do a lot of cloud, so we, we help people controlling their data and what's more important, controlling what they're sharing. So, let's talk about contribution. So, that's me. One year ago, I wanted to contribute to PostgreSQL. I didn't know I was already contributing. And uh, I didn't know where to begin. So, my speech is divided in four parts. The first part is about how the PostgreSQL community is structured. The second one is about PostgreSQL projects and tools. The third one is finally the story of my patch. It's a true story, how I made a, my first, first patch to, for PostgreSQL. And then we will see how you can help. So here is a picture taken in 2006. It's a developer community. Uh, it was taken in Ottawa, in PGCon. And these people are very nice. So, how is it structured? In this drawing, you need to keep in mind that uh, one person can be in more than one category. Because I try to categorize people, but we know that uh, people can be in one, more than one category. First, we have the core team. The core team is made of five members. They are independent, and they act as project manager. Uh, what's important with the PostgreSQL community is no one owns PostgreSQL. The core team is here to uh, take care of uh, unsolved questions inside the community. But last time they had to come and say, OK, now the subject is closed, it was more than 10 years ago. Because the community is uh, really open-minded and can talk a lot about uh, what they want to do. Then we have committers. Committers, to me, are between the core team and other people, because core team are only five people, so they can't handle any questions. So there are committers. Uh, it's more or less 15 people. 15 people. They have Git push permissions, and so they are responsible for good quality. I'd like to think that committers are, are upgraded developers, but they still write code. Then we have developers. So PostgreSQL project is written in C code. And developers need to comply with style guide. 
and the need to comment really, really a lot of comments in PostgreSQL code. And your patch can uh, uh, be rejected because it's not commented enough. And last time I, I, I spoke with a, a developer, he told me it was the first time he had to add three lines of comment for a simple if statement. But it helps keep the PostgreSQL code clean and neat. After that, we have reviewer. So uh, it's as in any foreign language, uh, writing code is harder than reading code. So reviewers don't need to be dev. Of course, they need some technical background. And uh, anyone can uh, become a reviewer. So you can uh, go to the CommitFest uh, webpage and uh, become a reviewer. And what's important to th keep in mind is if you don't understand something, others won't. So it needs clarification. And then we have translators. Translators help the project to spread around the world. Of course, some technical bases are still needed. Uh, I don't see how you can explain PRTI if you don't understand uh, uh, something, anything about walls or, or so on. But you don't need to be a dev. Uh, what needs translation? Uh, for example, you have software messages, documentation, press releases, and so on. On another side, there is an advocacy group. Uh, it's all about advertising about PostgreSQL because having a great product is not enough. You have to promote what you're doing. So uh, advocacy group uh, help spread information with blog posts, events, PostgreSQL booths in conference and events, announcement, and so on. There are associations uh, there are two listed in PostgreSQL.org website. Uh, there is PGConf Europe and PGConf US. Uh, if uh, you're not enrolled in PGConf Europe, just consider it because it's only 10, 10 euros for two years. So it's really cheap and it helps the community. And then we have user groups. Maybe some of you already went to a meetup or something. So here is a map. When it's uh, brown, it means there is a local user group. If there, are, if there is none in your country, you're welcome to create one, and you're welcome to uh, get in touch with PostgreSQL community if you need help to do that. And uh, the blue elephants uh, in cities are meetups. Of course, you're welcome to create your own meetup if you, need, if you want to, because uh, it's always rewarding to talk with other PostgreSQL users. They have another point of view, and you, you will be rewarded. And then, in the community, there are users. I don't say that users, uh, when you use PostgreSQL, you're contributing, but you're inside the community. And we know that you'd love to contribute, because once you use PostgreSQL, you fell in love with it. It's so handsome, you, can, you have no choice. So, projects. The PostgreSQL projects are uh, structured with Git repository. So I tried to make uh, an illustration. Uh, just keep in mind that it's only my view. You can have another view, and uh, I'd like to hear it if you have another view. Come to talk to, with me later or ask questions. Uh, it will, I really enjoyed it. And uh, in that illustration, the bigger the box, I think the more likely you, you'll need to clone the Git repository. So first, of course, PostgreSQL Git repository is the more important, I think. And then there is a translation repository. Uh, there are some repositories for contributions and tools and extensions. Uh, there is a little repository about project management. It's uh, all about uh, uh, commit fest management, uh, Git repository management itself. Um, well, maintenance dev, uh, I 
don't think you would need to, uh, to clone that kind of repositories. Then uh, there is what I call packages. It's all about pa uh, Linux distribution packages and installers and so on. And there is uh, some repositories about communication uh, that helps manage um, mailing list websites and so on. I don't think you would need to uh, clone that repository, but who knows? PostgreSQL roadmap. As you know, uh, PostgreSQL uh, release uh, one major release per year, and there is a minimum of one minor release per quarter, but it's a minimum. If something needs to be, uh, as uh, in the last version, if something needs to be corrected, there will be more minor releases. What's the difference between major releases and minor release? It's uh, simply the fact that uh, in major, major releases, you need to upgrade your data that you don't need with minor releases. So uh, major releases sometimes need more planification. But it doesn't mean you don't have to do it. You have to do it, of course. Uh, commit fest. So it's a um, one month long period when we tell to developers, stop writing patch. We need to review what has been written to be able to uh, uh, create a minor release. In that moment, we need reviewer and not developers. That commit fest is always uh, managed by a commit fest manager, and he or she is not uh, necessarily a developer. Here we are in the middle in the March commit fest. It's uh, one time every two months, uh, and you're welcome to come and read patches and comments and uh, make comments about uh, the code quality. To do that, you know, to, you need to go to that URL. Oh, sorry, I didn't say it, but my slides are, are all about illustration and pictures, but the ones that you can download after have text. So you will have text with a, the downloadable version. So, tools. PostgreSQL has some websites some that you know, some that you might don't know. Uh, so, we have, of course, the postgresql.org. Uh, I'm sure you know about that. You have the wiki.postgresql.org. I'm sure you know that. I'm sure you know the documentation website. And, but I'm not sure you know about the planet.postgresql.org. It's where you have, uh, you will find a lot of blog posts about PostgreSQL. It's really, uh, it's really important to stay in touch with what will come later, uh, what improvements have been made, and so on. So uh, I strongly recommend to go to planet.postgreSQL.org. To contact the community, of course, you can contact associations uh, near your location, but there are mailing lists in PostgreSQL. So uh, if you have bug, uh, if you want to submit a bug, there is a form. It's PostgreSQL.org uh, website. Use the form instead of mailing the, directly to the mailing list. If you're new to PostgreSQL, you might be interested with the PGSQL novice uh, mailing list, where you can ask really every question. There are some special, li special lists for associations and local groups. And there is the more important mailing list. It's PGSQL hackers. It's about developers. But if you submit to that ma mailing list, be really careful because these guys are so chatty. It's more than 15 different, uh, 50 different subjects in the same day. So. Uh, if you don't have all your day to read uh, mail, maybe you, you should uh, be really careful with that mailing list. If you find a security issue,
please don't uh, post it on a public mailing list. But, uh, email it to the security team so they can handle it and you can uh, publish after. But <laughs> we, we need the, it to keep secret in, uh, until it's patched. IRC, so it's quite old fashioned, but it works. Uh, last time I connected to IRC, there were more than 1,000 people connected and waiting for your question. What's fun with IRC is there is no history, so don't be ashamed to ask any question. It won't last as there is no history. Uh, and it's really great to be able to live chat with other PostgreSQL users. So just don't ask to ask, just ask. And it's on irc.freenode.net. So that's brand new. PostgreSQL has a, an official community account, and it's at PostgreSQL, no surprise. Uh, you can find uh, in, important information as uh, new releases and so on, but you will find some information about what's going on in the community. There are, of course, some ways to stay in touch. There is a Postgres Slack, there is a Postgres Hangout, and you can find forum as Stack and Chain, Stack Overflow, and so on, when you will, have, you will find help uh, from community members. Then, my colleagues made fun of me because I'm not a Git expert. I don't know if Git experts uh, exist in the world, but uh, they say that my level of Git is XKCD because of the drawing. So what I, when I don't know what I'm doing, when I see errors, I get my, uh, my modification apart. I recruit the repository and I took back my modification. Yeah, it's not uh, really brilliant, but it worked. So what you need to do to, to know is you can use git clone to get the repository. You can use git pull to get uh, new modifications. And you, we will have to use git div to make a patch. And I will see later how it works. Uh, there is a PostgreSQL wiki page that helps uh, using Git. So uh, you can go there and you will find help. And if you want to show off how uh, wonderful you are, you can use Git pull with the Rebase option. So, my first patch. So, first, what's a patch? In a patch, you try to uh, update a computer program to fix or improve it. You don't want to make it worse. So you have to keep that in mind because sometimes you will have other points of view that will tell you, no, your patch won't make it better. It will make it worse. And you have to keep uh, to, to be open-minded about that. So what's my story? Uh, you will see that you can begin with very, very little patches uh, that anyone can do. I uh, was in Vaso last autumn, and I noticed that there was a missing section in the alter table documentation. Uh, I, discussed, I discussed about it with uh, my colleagues, and uh, I had one that told me, oh yes, I know, for years. Uh, hey, what did you do? So first I did a bug reporting and then I was speaking with guru mentors of the community talking about that bug reporting as it said, you could create a patch because it's really easy. So I tell, okay, I didn't believe it, but uh, obviously I did it so it wasn't so hard. Uh, and after that, I just submitted my patch. So first, to create the patch, I had to git clone the PostgreSQL repository, and then I had to build PostgreSQL from source code, so you will find plenty of documentation how to do it. Then I had to build documentation from source code because my patch was about documentation. Uh, you will find easily docu uh, documentation how to do it uh, also. 
And then I was, uh, it was all about copy and pass the missing section from the create table documentation to the alter table documentation. That was really easy. And then I just had to rebuild the documentation from source code to be sure that uh, it, it, it was good. Then, you had to use git div to create a patch. Git div basically uh, writes any differences from uh, the repository to a text file. You have to use with context, and we will see uh, later uh, what's the difference with context and without context. Uh, you should use the wiki page creating clean patches that you will find in the wiki postgresql.org. Uh, and don't forget to format your give diff output. You will find information about that in the wiki page. But sometimes even the best men don't follow instructions and I thought that this was much, much easier than what it described in the wiki page, so I used it, and it works. So, here you have the git div without context on the left, and the git div with context on the right. What you'll see is there is, uh, first, there are uh, differences about the numbers, line numbers, and what's more important is indentation. It's not the same between the two. So you need to have git div with context to preserve indentation, and it's important. After that, so you have a text, basically a text file. It's called a patch. And you send a mail to the hacker's mailing list to say, hey, I've seen that, I've done that, and uh, Tell me what you think. So, uh, first, it, uh, uh, people said thank you to me. That's always uh, nice. And uh, then uh, they told me, well, there was another missing section in that documentation. Maybe you should fix it uh, in the same patch. And it's, a, it's a quite reasonable, reasonable. So, OK. But uh, I was too late. Someone else did it for me. Uh, you, can't, <laughs> you can't wait more than one day if you have to uh, change your patch because it, others will do it for you. And uh, the next uh, step is commit fest. So uh, I forgot to, uh, to uh, subscribe my, my patch to the commit fest, but someone did it for me. So uh, I, I thank Stefan for that. And there's the reviewer say, oh no, there, there was, it was broken. There was a, a, something wrong with sign up this. So uh, uh, it didn't beat anymore. So the patch was corrected. And then we found that another section was missing. So it was again corrected. And then it was ready for a committer. And that next step was committed. <laughs> and now I can die. Uh, <laughs> I was so excited when I've, when I've seen it. It was wonderful. And, but I won't stop here, because obviously I'm still alive. So <laughs> what next? Well, uh, I did some. Uh, uh, correction uh, in French trans translation because uh, I found some spelling error and uh, uh, a lot of people here are French and you know how we are about spelling errors. It's not errors, it's crimes. So uh, I had to, uh, to correct it. Uh, and I've been studying the code to see how it's structured, what, where can I find, uh, what can I find where and so on. And I've been observing the reviewing in January Commit Fest. And I told me, OK, in March, I will be a reviewer. But I connected on the 5th of March. And what I saw was uh, the only patches that uh, were lacking reviewers were patches uh, way over my head, a really technical uh, piece of code that I couldn't review. 
and that no one wanted to review. So uh, my first thought was, OK, next time I'll connect the first day of the month, so uh, I will be able to uh, review patches uh, at my level. But then I was said that, no, it's not the right conclusion. The right conclusion is, it's OK, you can review uh, a patch that, is, that has already been reviewed. Uh, it won't hurt to have more reviewer for the same patch. So I will do that. And what I did, too, is uh, I submitted to a lot of call for papers, because someone told me, uh, you're not well known in the community, so you, know, you have to submit a lot to be accepted. But uh, I was uh, accepted for uh, each time I submitted. So I have a lot of work to do to prepare my, my sli slide decks and so on. Uh, and it's a contribution, too. So how you can help. First, uh, I did some leveling about contribution. Uh, it's totally uh, my vision. You can have a different vision, and uh, I'd be really happy to hear it. Uh, the simple contributor begins with uh, writing blog posts, tweeting about PostgreSQL, going to meetups, events, conf talks, and so on. Uh, the simple contributor asks questions in uh, REC channel, mailing list, forum, and so on. And once the simple contributor has uh, more experience, he can also, of course, uh, answer other users' questions. So uh, the simple contributor not only uses PostgreSQL, but shares his experience. And that's really important. You, you, first, it will be rewarding for you, because you, you will have a different point of view. And we know that two brains are better than one brain. Always. And uh, you will find people with other constraints, other issues. And maybe sometime you will encounter an issue someone already had. And as you have talked about it uh, uh, previously, you will know how to solve it without searching. That will be great. Uh, and then uh, you can say what's lacking, lacking in PostgreSQL, so you can make it better. So it's really important. Then there are great contributors. So great contributors uh, create or help create organizing user group, meetups, events, and so on. And they invest time and money in PostgreSQL associations. So it won't take a lot of your time, but it will be really appreciated. And then. There are the super contributors. Super contributors uh, report bugs, review patches, and create patches. So if you think, as I do, that you're not good enough in C to be able to do, uh, uh, to, do uh, to write actual, actually uh, PostgreSQL code, you know that you can be a super contributor only by reviewing patches. And maybe by reviewing patches, you will make it better. You will uh, become better at reading C, and maybe you would be able to write C code. So, what I wanted you to memorize is, it's all about you. So I first tell you that you were already contributing. I hope you understand why you are already contributing and how it is appreciated to the community. And now, what I want to ask to you is, what's your next step? Because you can't stop here, obviously. And the second thing I'd want you to keep in mind is anyone can patch, always. And it's not really difficult. You just have to get out of your comfort zone. But you can speak with members. You can have mentoring if you need. You can ask for it. Uh, community will be really uh, happy to give you a mentor to help you uh, creating a patch. And so uh, you're welcome to join us. We'll be, we will be really uh, happy to, to welcome you.
and the community is really nice and open-minded, so uh, don't be afraid to speak with people. And if you uh, have any question, uh, I will be happy to answer it. And uh, by the way, we're hiring, so you're welcome to uh, send your resume to Luxodata. <laughs> Uh, are there any questions? <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, you were talking about uh, 15 uh, commuters, that's right? Yeah. And uh, I would like to know if you have uh, an approximate number of people who are developers at the moment. Uh, there are uh, two kinds of developers. There are uh, what we could call the core developers, and there are more or less uh, 30, and uh, everyone uh, around, it's more than 3,000, I think. Yeah, but we, it's a project uh, with a lot of history, so uh, I learned uh, uh, this autumn that uh, uh, Julian Assange, the one from WikiLeaks, was in the project in the late uh, 90s, and he contributed to it. Uh, you talked about the Commit Fest, so this happens uh, just online, or is there it's any? It's online. Is there any time when there's some local meetups or things like this that could happen? No, no, no. It's it's online and it has to be because the Postgres project, project, PostgreSQL users uh, uh, worldwide, we can't create an event for that. Uh, there is um, uh, in PGCon in Ottawa, there is a, um, an event for developers. Uh, but otherwise, there is nothing else. Okay, thank you.